as you can see this web page is now build, building up with our content there's no styled information in here at all it is just the structural bits of the page the styling is all going to go into layout CSS later on on this bit here we have now got subheadings under the main heading of Tim, Tim Berners-Lee we've got a subheading briefly about me vital statistics and experience the last one I want to put in is a little bit of contact information so I'll go to my notepad document where I've typed this text out and this is what I actually want to put in this contact email the phone or the cell landline address more information employment history etc it's that bit at the bottom I'm gonna put that into our table here and I'm going to put it in as a subheading which is called contact and I'm going to put the information in as h3 headings now I've done this on purpose so that I could have shown that I had the opportunity to show you lists going in tables going in and then straight headings going in all that's happened here h2 it's another same sized subheading and then it is a smaller third subheading which is email I've kept my hierarchy of headings all the way through this document and if I save this and we go to our web page and we refresh this page I've now got that information that's come in the bottom the contact information and our web page is starting to look a lot more like a web page and hopefully those colors aren't looking as bad as they did in this original document we're trying to make it look slightly different okay at this point here we have now finished the content for our web page so we've started our tag here with content and down the bottom I can see where that content division ends I'm just going to get rid of a little bit of this extra space in the middle it doesn't really matter but it just keeps things neat the next bit of information I want to put in is the navigation web pages need to link to other web pages very rarely do we want a standalone page the links that I want to have go in here will come from the document that I typed out previously it will be a link for more information employment history goals interests recommendations and a gallery of my work that's where pages that we could carry on and continue making if we wanted to turn this into a multi-page website all I need to do is to paste those in and I'm going to use the same sort of structure that I used previously I'm going to have the navigation inside the navigation div you can see the start and the finish of my navigation div I'm going to have a subheading that says more information following on with the hierarchy of headings my more information is still an h2 heading I've got an unordered list again and I've started my list out and I've ended my list with an open list tag and an endless tag which is no different than we did at the top here an open list tag and an endless tag the only difference with this one is I have put this code here in which is a href equals explain or sorry speech marks employment.html and the speech marks and there's the end of that a href tag it starts as a href but it only ends as a backslash a the information here is what will show up as the subheading and this bit inside the speech marks is the name of a new page so if I was to save this and we were to go and preview this in our web page we have now got some links that have appeared on the side they automatically come up in blue there's my unordered list which just comes up with bullet points and my subheading that is the same size as my other subheadings if I click on these pages they'll come up with a page this is not found and of course it's not found because I haven't actually made it yet if I wanted to make it I would need to make some new pages in here that linked to it what would I call these new pages I would have to call my second page 
employment.html. My third page would have to be called goals.html for the links to work correctly. To do that, all I would do is go File, New, create a new tab, and call it employment.html. I don't want to go through and make these new pages at the moment. All I want to do is get my first page set up so that it's easy for you to see how the whole thing works. That is how to put hyperlink references in. Very simple. I could finish off the initial look of this page by putting the footer information, but I'm not going to do that at the moment because it involves putting a bunch of pictures in. I would rather go and get my pictures in at the top of my document first and start working from the top down and then we'll finish up with the footer at the very end. However, before I can put pictures in, I need to actually go and minimize this and go into my web design folder and create a folder that is called images. Web pages are very picky about where they get their information from and instead of us having pictures and images and text and everything else spilling out throughout this folder we're going to be organized right from the beginning so I'm going to create an images folder and inside the images folder I'm going to paste some of the images that I want to use now I've already gone through and come up with these images to save time make making them so I've got this here that I'm going to use as my header. I'm going to put this in the footer, that in the footer as well, which says it's Web 3C compliant. I'm going to use these little angled areas for my subheadings, and I'm going to put a picture of Tim Berners-Lee inside the document. The images are all easily named so that I know what they are. CSS, XHTML, the gradient for my headings, Tim Berners-Lee, which is the picture, and then the title that I'm going to use in the background of the heading.